having Pastor Pete here. You know, there's always exciting things happening here at the Bridge Church. But in October, we're hosting something that I'm particularly excited about. That month, we are going to be featuring a study of the case for Christ. You know, Scripture tells us that as, as Christ followers, as believers, we should always be ready to give an answer for the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. This series is going to help us to do exactly that. And we're coming together as an entire church for this. Our church services, our life groups, we're all going to be studying why we believe, what evidence there is that Jesus really is the only way to eternal life. If somebody wanted to do an investigation into Christianity, where would you start? If the resurrection of Jesus didn't happen, it's a house of cards. You sure you want to give me that loaded gun? I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to pull the trigger. I've spent my entire career as a journalist uncovering the truth until the day my wife presented me with the biggest story of my life. I'm not gonna lose my wife and my kids to something that I can't even reason with. And what happened next changed me forever. How can we even talk about historical evidence for the resurrection? The Gospels are filled with contradictions. The empty tomb is based on evidence. And is it evidence you're trade? We all bet our lives on something. The question is, what's it gonna be? As much as I would like to help out a fellow skeptic, what you're proposing is impossible. Could Jesus survive being spiked to the cross? There is no evidence of anyone ever surviving a full Roman crucifixion. Just because I write something down and I bury it in the dirt, it doesn't make it true. What I felt was something more real than anything I've ever felt in my life. I'm praying for you. Do you really want to know the truth, or is your mind already made up? Stop blaming me and the church and God and do your job. ever proven if the shroud is the actual burial cloth of the Christ. But whenever someone looks in those eyes for the first time, suddenly becomes a real person.